So hello everyone, this is Abu Said, software engineer at AppScot. So today our webinar is about the process of backup and restore MongoDB using our recently announced product QStash. So let's see today's webinar's table of contents. First we will discuss, uh, discuss about QStash backup workflow. Then we will see a live demo about the backup process. Next we will see the restore work workflow with a live restore process demo. And finally there will be a QA session for you. So in this webinar, we will show how to backup and restore kubedb managed MongoDB. Here is how you can install kubedb using Helm chart. You can find more documentation in our kubedb.com website. Okay, so first let's take a look at the backup flow. In this figure, uh, this, this figure gives us an overall idea about how the backup flow of kubestash operator works. First user create a backup storage. It has been watched by your kubestash operator. To take backup, user needs to create a backup configuration where target database and repository is mentioned. Kubistash operator watch this backup configuration and create repositories and cron job. Depending on the schedule, cron job create a backup session to take backup. When the backup session create on schedule time, Kubistash operator watch it and create a create a snapshot to store backup information. This snapshot will need in restore process. In the meantime, QStash operator will resolve the add-on task and create a backup job. This backup job takes the backup from targeted MongoDB and dumped into a bucket. So let's see the YAML that we are going to apply. Okay, so first let's look at the MongoDB YAML. So this MongoDB is actually kubedb managed MongoDB and it is a standalone MongoDB and the version of this MongoDB is 4.4.6. Then the backup storage custom resource. The backup storage custom resource is used to specify the backend storage where the data, where the backed up data will be stored. So in this spec dot storage section, we need to specify that information. Then backup configuration custom resource. This custom resource is applied when we want to take a backup. So in this custom resource in spec.target section, we need to specify this MongoDB, uh, I mean targeted database. And the spec.backend section, we need to specify the backup storage where the data should be backed up. So in spec.session, we need to create, we need to provide the information of this backup session. Uh, in the session dot repository section, we need to specify we need to specify the backup. Uh, we need to specify the backend information, and this backend information is actually pointed point to the backup storage. We we also need to specify the add-on add-on task. So we can create multiple backup session in one backup configuration. Okay, so let's see the actual demo. Okay, so first, uh, here I'm using a kind cluster and in terminal, I'm watching backup storage, backup configuration, backup session, snapshot, and restore session. Also, I already have installed a kubestash operator in my cluster. Let's see that. So you can see that uh, this pod is actually holding the kubestash operator and it's running in my kind cluster. Uh, I also have a standalone MongoDB instance in my in this kind cluster. Okay, so you can see that this MG standalone MongoDB of version 4.4.6 is already in my kind cluster. Okay, so before taking backup, let's see what's inside this database as we can see that. Okay, so let's first exec into MongoDB pod. Okay, now I need to authenticate into MongoDB database. Okay, so as you can see that, there is only five database inside this MongoDB. So I want to insert some data in this MongoDB. So for inserting purpose, uh, I will use kubedb CLI. You can find the more details about kubedb CLI in our kubedb.com website. Okay, so let's insert some data. Okay, so 100 documents is inserted, inserted into this MG standalone MongoDB. Let's check that. So you can see that a new database named test is inserted into this MongoDB. Okay. 
okay so a new collection named QTV testing is also inserted let's see what's inside this collection so you can see that uh, random some some random document is inserted here okay so let's apply okay so before we're taking backup we need to apply backup storage okay so backup storage is created let's wait for some time to okay so backup storage is already in ready face okay so let's now we need to apply backup configuration backup configuration is created the face is not ready yet let's wait for some time okay so backup configuration is in ready state so we need to wait for some time to get triggered. You can set the schedule time in schedule section of backup configuration. This is actually time for when the backup session will be triggered. Backup configuration will be triggered. Okay, so you can see, we can see that the uh, a new backup session is created and also a new snapshot is created and it is already in running phase. That means the um, our backup our key vista operator is taking the backup. So let's wait for time to finish this. Okay, so you can see that backup session is already in succeed phase. Okay, first we need to pause this backup configuration. Uh, uh, otherwise a new backup session is going to create okay so we can see that backup configuration is paused okay let's see what's inside the snapshot okay so this snapshot is created and this snapshot will be used for restore we can see that in component spec uh, status dot component section the information of backed up data Okay, now let's move on to the restore section. Okay, so in the restore flow, we can see that when user create a restore session, QV stash operator watch it and pause the backup config. And then the operator resolves the add-on restore task. And with this add-on restore task, QV stash operator create a restore job to finish the restore process into our MongoDB database. So let's see the demo. Okay, so before taking, okay, so before taking restore, uh, let's just drop this test database to actually uh, check whether the restore is actually s s properly succeed or not. Okay, let's first of all drop this test database using KubeDB CLI. Okay, so you can see that the documents is deleted. Let's check again. Okay, so no choice data is here. Okay, so now let's, re let's apply the restore session. Okay, so restore session is created already in running phase. So you can see that the restore session is in succeed phase. So let's see. The test data, the test database is again on the database list. So we can see that we can say that our test database is successfully restored. So that's all for today's webinar. If you guys have any question, you can ask. Okay, so thanks everyone for joining this webinar.